Boom! Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to our multiplayer Stardew Valley. Uh, so you can probably see I've been going for a couple of minutes from the fact it's not 6am anymore. Uh, I've just basically been wandering around trying to find leaks again. So uh, I also processed that one geode we had, which gave us sandstone, which was not terribly interesting for right now. Uh, but at least we can sell it. Uh, and yeah. Oh, and I went up to the community centre and filled in the the regular wood and stone for the construction bundle. So we need 10 hardwood for the construction bundle, and we need a leak for the spring foraging bundle. Um, this also... Oh, the crops bundle isn't in this room. That's why I can't find it. So for now, we are just desperately trying to find a leak so that we can try and open up the area that has... Oh, I think there's two areas because there's the fishing area and the, um, like, kitchen-y... Hang on, what is the other one called? Okay, so it's actually the kitchen. So the crafts room, we need the foraging stuff to open up the aquarium and the kitchen. And then the kitchen and the aquarium both have seasonal um, things in. So we kind of want to try and get that far at least. Uh, also, let's just open up the dashboard. Because I've heard that sometimes it's useful to be able to actually, you know, see things. Like, you know, chat messages and stuff. Uh, we can never find foraging material here, so let's... Oh, actually, while we... Uh, no, we have no quartz. We sold all the quartz. So we are going to also want to probably head into the mine, find some more quartz, unless this was the week we've already... Okay, we've already gifted Abigail as much as we can this week. That's not too much of a problem. Um, and yes, I will probably at various points still switch back to the cheaty window uh, just to look up useful information. Oh, that's boring. So, so while we're here, let's catch a couple of fishes. Assuming, of course, that, you know, we find mostly fish and not, like, bits of rolled up newspaper or twigs. Well, if we were playing Slay the Spire, twigs would be alright. Because, you know, at least you've got that branch that makes your um, exhaust cards only exhaust half the time or something. Fish are energetic in the rain. Record-breaking chub. I know some people who would go for that record. But, uh, that's very much for a different stream and not for this stream. Also, one thing that makes this so much better than Animal Crossing fishing is there aren't so many ridiculous puns. Yes, I've caught a lot of carp in Animal Crossing. At this point, my carp aren't just carpooling, they're actually like clown carpooling. Ooh, sneaking in that treasure chest just uh, just before the fish escapes. Ooh, bonus geode. Ah. 
no, fish escaped. Curses! You can fix this if you upgrade to better rods, that they, they don't uh, lose the fish uh, attrition meter quite so quickly. And later on you start getting, like, tackle and bait and things, it changes the... Um, like, how easy it is to get different types of things. Be it fish or treasure chests or whatever. Ooh. Free iron ore. That is not to be sniffed at. Although it's not much iron ore, so... I don't know what happened to that click, then. Come on. Stay on the bar. Stop avoiding it. Okay. That should do for a little bit, just to, you know, try and actually keep some sort of money coming into the farm. Uh, also, we're probably going to want to try and find Abby to chat to today, if we're going to do that at all. The follow-up question is, where is the Abbey? She is not in her room, which is good. Uh, hey. She's not here. She wasn't up by the lake. So, Wizard's Tower or Saloon? Well, Saloon's not open yet, I don't think. Oh, Saloon is open. Boom. You see, that was just flat out rude, but it's Abby, so we're gonna let her off. So, back to Leak Quest. Quest for the Holy Leak. Um, hmm. That does not sound right, somehow. It could be worse, I guess. Like, Quest for the Golden Leak sounds pretty bad. Are there any leaks hiding behind the trees? It doesn't look like it. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? That's, I think that's how the aquarium works, thinking about it. It's because it's like the lake, river, sea, whatever bundles, and each one has some seasonal specific fish. And then you've got the legendary fish bundle or something where you actually need to go and catch all the legendary fish. Some of which are a lot easier to catch than others. Although, honestly, for the really hard one to just eat that food that gives you, like, plus three fishing and boost yourself up to, like, ten fishing and suddenly everything's easy. So, you know, could always be worse. Uh, nope, sell things first. Yeah, everything in the box, please.
We can store that stuff. So yeah, we should probably also sell... No, we're going to save those parsnips for now, just in case we need them in the kitchen. We'll probably need more, but... Hello, Papa. Ooh, we can now make bait. So yeah, Wednesdays is reruns and Sundays is the actual um, the actual show. So you kind of always get two chances to learn any of the recipes. Which is nice, honestly, because sometimes you kind of get caught up in whatever it is you're doing and just forget. Don't mind me while I just, like, lightly groove to the chill music. That's one of the things that does just make this quite a nice game to kind of just chill with some friends. Kind of get a group together and see what you can do. Hmm. Don't worry, I'm not after you. You can hide in all the bushes you want. Just check through here. And then water all of our plants and then go and check in the forest, I guess. Just in case, check this side. Nope. That is the one downside to the starters, is uh, trying to actually get access to water them properly. Okay, so it looks like some of our mixed seeds might be turning into cauliflower, possibly, these two. These ones, I'm honestly not sure. And I don't remember what it was. We actually planted manually, so that doesn't help. Hello, puppy. Oh, and we still haven't done the chat to Abigail just to keep the social good. Hello? Are there any leaks here? What noise does a leak make in the wild? Ooh. Interesting relic to donate. So we don't want to be out here too long. We want to try and get back, process the geodes, and get to the museum. Okay. It's a random pine cone, apparently. Now, I could probably make some of those here, but I'd just be coming through and, like clear-cutting the entire area, which I'm going to hold off on for now. Okay, we got spring onions at least. Unfortunately, they do not count as leaks for the purposes of the community center bundle. But that might suggest then that if spring onions are growing today, there might be more leaks tomorrow or something. 
I honestly don't know. And I'm not going to look that up. Mostly all I really actually look up on the wiki is... Um, like the villager schedules, because they can be difficult to find. And I really hope Abby's not just in the shop today. Because Pierre's is going to be shut. Then we'd also have to go and actually find some jade, and that's just effort. Okay, so we should at least have plenty of time to process geodes and visit uh, the museum. Have we already donated calcite? I can't remember. We certainly need to donate the arrowhead, though, so... Oh, Abby's here. How convenient. Uh, okay, summer seeds. That's handy. It gives us a head start on summer farming. See, she's much more polite today. Which is good, you know. But disappointingly, still no leaks. So let's go have a wander into the old mines. Let's see if we can get a few more floors. I think we got to 15, didn't we? Oh, yeah, that was it. We got to 15 and we had that ridiculous floor that had no downstairs. not that interested in much that we're going to find here unless we're finding amethyst already. But we're not going to be finding amethyst, so I'm not that interested. Well, okay. Technically you can find amethyst this this early on, but it's fairly unlikely. stairs as well. Fine. Let's just get that bit of copper and head downstairs. <gasps> oh, look at that. She says you're not going to find any amethyst. Immediately find amethyst. Now, ideally, if we can find two more, we will have enough to give Abby all next week and one to donate to the museum. If not, then we'll have to donate this one to the museum and we'll be giving Abby quartz again next week. But, I mean, quartz is fine. Yeah. So after yesterday, I'm just also being slightly paranoid about checking video quality every so often. I'm just trying to make sure that we're not losing frames all over the place again. 
Because I don't think that was the like the internet or anything going wrong. Um, I'm trying to look back at the recording. The recording completely fell over as well, so... I think that was actually something in my OBS. Stairs. Right, we need one more stairs. Oh, and of course, this is the horrible one that's just a ridiculous spiral. Always seems to come just as you're starting to run out of energy. Or we could just find... Uh, okay, what have we got that we don't mind just binning? Eat this algae, because if we catch something here that is useful, the algae is probably what we're throwing away. And it might be that I'm just nowhere near good enough to actually catch this thing. Nope, okay, got one. Leave El Minington. Okay, we've got enough to make another three things of uh, copper ore. So we should be able to think about upgrading our axe and pickaxe soon, which I can't remember if that's enough to get through the worst of the obstacles. I think it's enough to get through these, but not the big hollow logs, unless I've just completely got that backwards, which is also possible. Hold on to those for now. No, that's being sold. Uh, are we actually keeping everything else here? I think we are, aren't we? Okay. So yeah, I think tomorrow we will start actually looking at upgrading tools. If we can. I have to see how much it actually costs. We have a letter! Another letter! Find Robin's axe. We can undertake this noble quest. And while we're at it, try and find leaks. I'm just going to assume that the axe is in the forest. I used to know where the axe was, but... I do not remember. It's not like Mayor Lewis's lucky shorts, which I unfortunately remember exactly where they are. 
way that I'm assuming. Yep. Still no leaks. Am I missing something about leaks? Are they just incredibly rare? Leakies. Apparently they are just like pets. You can just kind of sing their name at them and they will appear out of nowhere. I haven't really checked it out. Nope, okay. Nothing there. <clears throat> And you can sometimes find things in town. But we need to go process some geodes and stuff anyway, so. Do all of this at once. I'm not giving you a gift of my spring onions. Oh, they both look new. It's just, you know, Give all of the different types of mineral to Gunter. Then we can head up towards the mine via Robin's house and hand in the axe. And also just have a check around here for leaks. That's not a leak. They should do some sort of special leak summoning dance or something. It's a leak. Don't scare it. I don't know why I was whispering like the leak could hear me. Hi, is this yours? Oh, we meant to go and also talk to Clint about upgrading tools. Do that now. <laughs> you have fun with that, hun. Okay, we have no extra hearts yet. Run, run, run! To the place that wants a leak. And get some more spring seeds. Is it that one? I thought it was the one next to it was the one we wanted. That one we definitely want. Or is this the same area? Okay, we want one parsnip, a bean, a cauliflower, and a potato. We can handle that. Ooh, 
But we're not doing any of the artisan stuff yet. All the animal stuff. But we also want five gold parsnips. That is relevant. Sunfish, catfish, shad, tiger trout. All I bream eel. Ghostfish, we know we can get. Sandfish, wood skip, puffer fish. Puffer fish you have to get in the sea in a really specific way. Wood skip, I think, is in the secret lake place, and sandfish is in the desert. Some of those we just have to wait. So, carp and bullhead, I think we can already get. Possibly also the largemouth? But we can at least make a start. Okay, let's... We can do fishing more or less whenever, as long as those fish are active at all hours. Uh, let's run down to Clint, see if we can get anything upgraded yet. Yeah, let's also collect the reward. Okay. So it costs 2,000 per tool. So with 2,600 and a little bit more copper, we'll be able to upgrade some tools. But... Also, we can get the ghost fish any time. Actually, as long as we're not spending money with Clint today, I might just go and buy a whole load of parsnip seeds. See if we can grow enough parsnips before the end of spring, then uh, we're likely to... Stop it. We're likely to be able to get the five gold parsnips we need as well. Oh, we needed one of those. Uh, while we're in town, let's go buy some seeds. Okay, ten grand for the next... Uh... There we go. That should be enough parsnip seeds. slots so we can go do a spot of fishing up at the lake and as long as we're going up here anyway we might as well go get another ghost fish that gets us a little bit closer to another bundle even if we know we can't do the rest yet um, at least we know we've done what we can Algae. It's like green algae, except in a place with no actual light. Which doesn't explain the fact you can get green algae from the same place. Mm. 
Any time now. I mean, we know that fish live here, right? I didn't just imagine that before. I don't want newspaper either. Never mind. I was trying to get the um, the treasure chest as well, but didn't quite make it. Uh, we'll see what we wanted from here. Carp, largemouth bass, bullhead? This catches me by surprise when they don't immediately jump somewhere up the gauge. Uh, I don't think we needed a carp, did we? A uh, lake fish bundle? Oh, okay, so we needed a carp. Carp, bullhead, largemouth bass. We can get sunfish. Okay. So we can get bullhead, largemouth bass, chub, sunfish. We get most of what we need already. also want to try and get all this stuff planted tonight, so uh, we're not going to be fishing for too long. Oh, this looks like a carp again. It really says something after a while when you just kind of get so used to behaviours of certain types of fish that you just kind of know what the fish is immediately. Ooh. This isn't the carp. Oh, it was in fact a chub. Did we need the chub? For any of the fish. Definitely not that one. No, okay. I thought we needed the chub for some type of fish bundle. Then I was wondering why you could also find it in the lake. So, stick these in the community centre, head home to plant some stuff, sell off all the stuff we don't need anymore. And we know we can bring one, we only need to keep one regular parsnip. So we can bring up a regular parsnip tomorrow as well. What was it? Parsnip, bean, cauliflower, potato? I think? 
That sounds vaguely accurate for some reason. That was not a hoe. So what's two good numbers that can go together to make up 70? In a way that's almost square. probably 7 by 10 that seems like it's likely to be the best option right, let's tidy up some of this grass Then I thought that you could actually just like hoe through grass. But apparently not. Which is kind of what I was expecting, but. Algae. Now it's starting to get late. Are we going to have enough time to finish this? to bed quickly yes <laughs> curses Going to need more scarecrows. Thankfully, we only needed one potato. And we'll get round to reading that letter in a moment. guess we'll especially need scarecrows around those parsnips that we need to get enough gold parsnips from.
Also, we might be running out of energy pretty quickly today. So I like the late game of this, where you can get sprinklers and just not worry anymore. And okay, you need like lots of iridium to make the good sprinklers, but it's worth it. We need a better watering can. This rate, we might actually have to eat some of those remaining parsnips. thought we could get away with that. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to do at all. Still just kind of disappointed that we apparently got to the wrong zero. Because you can get to zero energy and be fine. I think we have just enough energy this time to, to finish it. just to be on the safe side and make sure that we can uh, afford to water the doggo as well. Let's eat the other parsnip. In a world of infinite parsnips. Also, a world of conveniently infinite copper. I've scared off one crow, but not that one! Good evening! And how are you today? So the mobile app seems to have fallen over again and not connected properly. There we go. Uh, 
what was he doing? Yes. Community center. Have a parsnip. should be able to find um, a sunfish still in the river. I guess probably not before because it was raining. But... Kids have come to watch us fish. How cute is that? Smallmouth bass, we wanted sunfish. That's what we were after. Okay. Uh, what else in the river bundle? Shad and tiger trout. Pause for cheat. Okay, so you find shads in the river in the rain. And you don't find tiger trout in summer. Fine. Uh, sturgeon is the other one we wanted to try and find. Okay, you can't find sturgeon in spring. And then we've got some time to find ocean fish as well. So we come back and do some river fishing while it's raining. Okay, so you can just find bullheads and largemouth bass. Uh, same, you can just find. Okay, largemouth bass, there's a time limit, but... Actually, we're running out of time to find largemouth bass. Whoops. I'm thinking carp again. Uh, 
Not even an interesting carp. I mean, at least a lot of these things just help refill energy for us. Yeah, we didn't want that either. Although, we're starting to get a lot more sort of silver and gold level fish, so that's something. And now we probably can't get the largemouth. Although... Yeah, it was just another chub. But also we probably want an early night tonight. Just because we've got the unpleasant blue ill face of exhaustion. That said, it's still starting to get pretty late. Sunfish we want to keep. That we don't, that we don't, that we don't. That we can just put away for a moment. Okay, I think we're good. Aha! And now we can make a crab pot. Me sell hats, okay, Pope? Come to old, old, old house, Pope. Bring coiners. So, at the very least, that's a little bit less watering that we need to do now. Hoping that we manage to increase our farming fast enough now to uh, maximize the amount of uh, gold parsnips we're going to get. That's really the sort of critical thing here. Potatoes give a decent amount of energy, at least. So 
and we need to finish all of the watering before we can go join the Easter party. I've decided. As long as we don't take forever with the watering here, we should be okay. So I like the fact that the crow ate one of our potatoes, but we got double yield, so we got the potato back. Is the mayor. Ooh, Mr. Mayor. Hi, Linus. He <laughs> deviled eggs. I don't know why deviled eggs always sounds amusing to me. In case you're wondering why I keep looking to the side, I might possibly just have a map that's got all of the eggs marked on it. This is when, like, even cheating, I don't place first. And this one. This one. This one. one here, then here, 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 there's that one there I think, yeah. Behind this tree here, over behind this tree here, some more up there. Okay, but I'm not going to have time for those. See if it was enough. I think 11's... Yeah, okay. Oh, I thought you could actually do stuff after the festival. Oh well, after the um, hunt, even. I was apparently mistaken. Like, that's actually quite a lot of money in one day for us so far. <laughs> we learned how to cook coleslaw. Which 
We are now also going to want to make sure that we have some quartz handy. Because it's a new week, and that means more gifts for Abigail. Our miscellaneous plants are starting to come along. The parsnips seem to have basically exploded. I'm not entirely sure what's happened there. I mean, okay, they've started to grow, but I don't know why they kind of did nothing, 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 everything. wasn't worth it. I just kind of like, you know, have a go at any weeds you see. I will still call them worms. Forever they are worms. My legs are made of parsnip. Oh, it's not clipping. It's just when the textures were clipping through my legs there, it looked a bit strange. Oh, I got to keep track of how much water was in the can. We're almost done, though. Hey, there's the other type of wooden thing to chop up. Okay, everything is watered. So, gifts for Abigail. Uh, then we've got potato and fish to go in the community center. And then, we have a small amount of energy with which to go fishing. Unfortunately not really at the moment. If and when does Abigail leave her mother's bedroom? This is why I quite like having the uh, access to the wiki. Okay, she leaves at one. There is a little bit of time left yet. What does, does she do in the evening here? Okay, so she's gonna leave the Wizard's Tower at 1, and then come back at like 8. So we have some time to try and... Uh... Nope, did not mean to do that. But we have some time to try and do some fishing. Hi, Linus. Oh 
almost. There's a large mouth. A car. So, yeah, I think it's yeah, it's just the bullhead from the lake that we're wanting to try and catch at the moment. We have two more casts before we need to eat something. That should give us a decent amount of energy. There we go. Now we have at least seven more casts after this one, so... freshwater fish known for its voracious appetite. That does kind of read like the designers had one of those word of the day calendars and it's like, we need to use the word voracious. There's a bullhead. Don't come towards me, get out of the way. Let's spend some time fishing at the ocean first, actually. I can be decisive sometimes, I just haven't decided when. The things we need from here, pufferfish, sardine, tilapia, red snapper, something else. A herring? That's an easter egg to try and find. It's like, can you use that herring to chop down a tree? Mm hmm. 
more herring. This is not doing that well at the moment for trying to find, like, a useful thing. Unless herring is on the list, but I don't think it is. We are finding a lot of herring. Okay, last cast, and then we'll go and try and meet Abby on her way back home. Hi, Abby. I have this lump of quartz for you. Mono herring. Sardine. Oh, tuna. Red snapper and tilapia. Shoo. Get out of my face, boyos. Yeah, I think we will probably make this the final day. So yeah, we can uh, head home, sell everything off, and then we'll uh, call it there for the night. I'm guessing we might have missed Abby. Is she supposed to get back home at 10, I think? 10, 10, 30? Ah, no, there she is. Ah, ha, ha. Still only one heart. We might do another day just to try and get up to that two heart level. Because, you know, priorities, right? And sell the chub. And all of the herring. And the seaweed. Uh, but we don't want to sell the sunfish, is that right? That looks correct. Also put the clay away. Really looking forward to the next day of rain, actually. Oh, not today. Ooh, bonus money. little helps when it comes to not having to water every tile anymore. <gasps> the parsnips are all done! Oh, we don't have to spend our entire day watering things today.
I mean, okay, we also have to harvest 70 parsnips, but... Whoops. We're either managing to duplicate some of these, or... Oh no, okay, yeah, because it won't quite add up to multiples of nine, will it? That's probably why I've... I've just done the maths wrong, everything's okay. <sighs> Four. That was annoying. Okay, we'll have to store those then. which is going to Abbey, goes in the community centre. <gasps> Berries! Do we need a salmon berry for anything? No. Doesn't look like it. any anchovy yet. Boom! Sneak, 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 sneak. And this is where the stream gets really meta for a little bit. Because now we're going to be streaming me playing a game inside another game. <laughs> Slightly confused about which character I was then. <sighs> to be fair, it's not like this is a massively difficult game. no idea what that item did. I think it, like, just freezes everything. Thank you. 
There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, common mistake. Some lesbians can work a joystick. So let's go find out how close we are to finishing various bundles now. So Riverfish Bundle gets the Sunfish. Lakefish Bundle gets these two and just needs the Ty uh, no, just this one needs the Sturgeon. That was it. And we should have a potato and a cauliflower to drop off in the Spring Crops Bundle. I might go and buy another 10 parsnip seeds from Pierre as well. We should have enough time, I think, to grow parsnips. Yeah, there's no way parsnips take, take like two weeks, is there? Four days, okay. Also, now we have some spare cash monies. We can also finally go and upgrade a tool. Probably upgrade the axe, because I don't think we need it to clear anything at the moment. And we can use that to get the hardwood to then uh, finish out that construction bundle. And just shake any bushes that we come across that look like they have berries on them. This is an easy way to get some free cash at least. Also vaguely curious at what's actually in all of these other areas. But I assume that like probably one of them's got like yeah, okay, so this one's got a fishing spot. Bottom right one has the um, mining area. So what does this one have? Or is this just basically an extension farm? Okay, so this I think is just an extension to the main farm area. Now I might be slightly stuck and can't get back out.
May as well plant all of the bonus seeds. And then I guess, seeing as we have some spare time, uh, head back down to the beach and try and catch some of those ocean fish. Maybe even push it a little bit today and try and catch some of the nighttime fish. I can't remember where you catch eels. I think eels is the river at night. I'm wondering if also you have to wait for it to be raining or something to catch puffer fish. Because I'm sure that um, puffer fish were something to do with this rock. Now we wait. I did not want broken glasses. Kind of expecting it to have moved again by then. Okay. I mean, it's not a haddock. Apparently, this rock is really good for catching seaweed, so... Oh, we can't put that in the community center. Okay. We've got other sardines now. It's not so much of a problem. Mm -hmm. soggy newspaper either. <laughs> and we're back on herring again. Why am I doing all this ocean fishing, you ask? For the halibut. So, I'm going to wander back up to the river, I think, and try for some... Uh... Ooh.
mean, go for it. See, I like Gus. Unlike George, who's like, grumble, grumble, people are rummaging in my rubbish. Gus is like, hey, look. Just have some stuff. Is at least starting to get a little bit. Late. So we'll do a little bit more fishing, head home, call it a night there, and uh, we'll pick it up again on Tuesday. Record breaking bream. I honestly don't remember when night time starts, if it's ten or eleven. For the sake of like fish catching. Push that one. At least there's some amount of lighting to help you see where you're going. Kind of wish you could turn this into like a proper road as well. I don't think you can. Okay, so we're going to sell that one. Let's just have a quick check that we don't need bream for anything. Okay, so actually a lot of these you can just find on the beach. You don't even need the crab pot. Oh, okay, so we will keep a bream. And a sardine. And the rest can go.
We are getting good with this whole fishing thing. That was two iridium quality fish today. Oh, we can finally start making sprinklers. And the mayonnaise machine. And the bee house. Ooh, and the recycling machine now. Uh huh. Okay. That is going to do us for today. Thank you as ever for joining me. Um, yeah, I'm going to basically keep this running as an open server uh, for all streams going forwards, uh, at least while the lockdowns are still in effect. So uh, yeah, please come back, join me again on Tuesday. It'll be open up again. Uh, it's all shared, so you can jump in and out uh, as you are available. And until next time, thank you, and I'll see you then. Bye!